For the next couple of minutes, I want to take you on a historical journey back to the opening day of the Houston Astros in the iconic Houston Astrodome 51 years ago. The Astrodome was the vision of Houstonian Judge Roy Hoffins. Back in 1960, he stormed into the National League meeting being held in Chicago and spoke of this dome that he wanted to build. And sure enough, he sold the idea to the owners and secured one of the two available franchise slots. Opening day occurred April 9, 1965. The first game was the newly named Astros versus the New York Yankees. The Astros had changed their name from the Colt 45s in the offseason. The Astros won this game 2-1 in the 12th inning that day. My grandfather served as an usher on opening day and has fond memories of that day. Everyone was dressed to the nines, he'd said. Space a tier was the dress of staff and cheerleaders. The seats were all cushioned and the air inside was cool and the lights were so bright. He said it was something special to see President LBJ throw the first pitch. The game was fantastic, over the top event, and anyone who was there will never forget. Just last year, Houston celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Astros and the Astrodome. The Astros organization celebrated its 50th anniversary all season long from shirts to uniforms to pins and banners to special edition baseballs used in every game of the season. The Astrodome has now been replaced with Minute Maid Park and Energy Stadium, leaving the Astrodome in danger of being leveled at some point. There have been several votes that have barely saved it so far, but chances that it will be around for much longer are not very strong. If this happens, it will surely be a sad day as the building is home for so many historical moments, memories, and events and most famous for being known as the eighth wonder of the world.